guys welcome back to our youtube channel if you're new here hello my name is oluakemi adesola thank you for stopping by and please click on that red button that says subscribe and click on the notification bell beside it so you will be the first person to get notified every time that i upload a new video now to my ogs my returning subscribers you guys know i love you thank you for coming back and today I'm going to be talking about love languages. I'll be right back. So guys, like I said, I'll be talking about love languages. What do I mean by love languages? Love languages are ways that we like to show love. Love languages are ways that we like to receive love. For different people, we have so many ways that we want to be shown love. And also, we also have ways that we like to receive love from people. Now, there are five major love languages the first one is acts of service the second one physical touch the third one quality time the fourth one words of affirmation and the fifth one is gift now I'm going to take my time to explain everything one after the other now this is different for everybody while some others like gifts some people like physical touch you know the old public display of affection thing some people like when you spend quality time with them while some people they like all five when you do everything that is when they believe that you truly love them i want you guys to know that love languages isn't just between romantic partners you should know your friends love language you should know your uh relative your family you should know their love languages like your siblings you should know how they want to be shown love so also your romantic partner you should know how they want to show love now most importantly for yourself you should know how you want to be shown love and how can you do this find out that thing that whenever someone does it to or for you you feel most loved at that moment yes that it is for some people it can be maybe when someone reassures you or tells you they love you they care about you that is when you feel most love so if that is it for you that means that is your own love language so as much as you put in effort of finding out other people's love language for instance your romantic partner your best friend your sibling or your mom or your dad also know what love language that you like or how exactly you want to be shown love now uh, like I earlier mentioned there are five major love languages words of affirmation quality time receiving gift uh, physical touch and uh, act of services those are the five major love languages I know now you will be wondering how you can find out a person's love language since it is not written on the forehead. Now the easiest way to find out a person's love language is to simply ask the person what is your love language did you like it when i touch you do you like it when i help you with your chores do you like it when i buy you gifts just simply ask now another way you can find out is by studying that person and finding out what it is that when you do to or for them it makes them happy it makes them feel loved or appreciative of you so if they are most happy when you buy them a gift then you would know that receiving gifts is their love language now in a relationship uh, in a romantic relationship both parties might not have the same love language for the guy it might be receiving gift while for the lady it might be quality time or uh, physical touch or act of services or whatever it doesn't mean that when two people are in a romantic relationship they have to have the same love language no it can be entirely different while some people can be lucky and their love languages are the same they both like receiving gifts or they both like quality time so that is very easy you know if you get me a gift then i have to get you a gift because that is your love 
language so guys in no particular order i'm going to start with receiving gifts receiving gifts as a love language for some people that is what makes them feel safe it what makes them feel loved and cherished they feel remembered whenever you pop up and you know you come with a gift so for instance you know your brother or your partner is a gamer he likes playing games you know he's all those game freaks and uh, probably there's a new playstation and you buy it for them that makes them feel loved when they receive that gift you know to them it's like oh this person loves me this person bought me a gift that they know i like because it's related to something they are into it's related to something they are interested in so that is not about gifts and i think most of the people that i know their love language is receiving gifts i mean who doesn't like receiving gifts now the second one here is physical touch now physical and touch for some people what they think whenever they hear physical touch is sex but no this doesn't really have to do with sex but physical touch in a way that you're walking down the street with your friend or your partner and you know you're just gently holding their hands your arms are around their neck you know they have something in their eyes and you're helping them bring it out you're helping your partner arrange your hair you know just gently touching that person in a way that makes them feel safe in a way that makes them feel sane that is what i mean by physical touch so for some people this is their love language this is how they like to be shown love and when you do these things it makes them feel safe it makes them feel sane that is that about physical touch now the third thing is quality time this is when you spend enough time with the other person like for instance you for instance you go to work monday through friday and on saturday you could go out to watch football or you can be out to hang out with your girls but instead you decided to spend that time with the other person if their love, love language is spending quality time together trust me that would make them feel so loved by you because you have decided to spend that time with them when you could have been doing something else entirely so that is what makes them feel loved and that is basically uh, spending quality time together now for acts of services uh, personally this is my favorite love language what do I mean by act of services? This is a physical expression of a meaningful thought. Okay, for instance, I let's say I work at the hospital eight hours a day and I spend most of this time standing. When I get home, I don't want to do chores like washing the dishes, sweeping something, cleaning something. My partner or my whoever I am with can decide to do these things for me because it makes my life easy it makes me feel less stressed that is a very powerful love language it means you have me in mind or I come back from work and you know you decide to give me a foot rub a massage you decide to heat water for me to have a warm bath to run a warm bath you know it shows that you're thinking about me and you're doing something thoughtful for me so act of services can be anything it can be making me a cup of tea in the morning it can be taking out the trash it can be um, doing the laundry for the other person it can be anything whatever it is that makes the life of the other person better that is an act of service now last but not the least is words of affirmation for some people they want you to just say it whatever it is you feel say it. they want to they, they they are more uh verbal people they believe in verbal kind of love so for those people you have to always reassure them you have to always say yes i love you i adore you i care about you i miss you i want to be with you i cherish you you have to always be vocal because they want to hear it for them hearing you say these things is how they want to be shown love is how they believe that love should be shown to them 
so those are the five basic love languages now it's different for everybody like i said earlier for some people it can just be one while for some people it can be two while one will be primary uh the other one will be secondary like that while for some people it can be three and for some people it can be all of it so um take your time today to find out what your partner's love language is find out what your siblings love language is your parents and most importantly yourself how do you like to be shown love how do you like to receive love what are those things that when people do, do for you you believe that they love you uh, there is nothing selfish about wanting to be loved or wanting to be shown love as long as you do it for other people too it's never too much to ask for so if you have any contribution please drop it in the comment section if there is something you think I forgot to add or you think I forgot to say please feel free to drop it in the comment section that will be all for today guys don't forget to click on that subscribe button don't forget to share this video with all of your friends don't forget to give this video a thumbs up I'll see you guys in the next video I love you bye